Hi, I'm Patrick Day. Thanks for watching my podcast. Uh, upcoming, I've got a series of five, maybe six uh, episodes of uh, a particular build that I've been doing um, that tur has turned out to be quite problematic. Um, about eight months ago, I started a project of building a camera that can do tin type um, or ambro types. And uh, I've started from the, the, um, from the very basics all the way to completion. The very last step on this was building the dipping tank for the sensitizing of the film. So uh, the, the video that I'm going to, the next set of videos I'm going to show you is not so much a how-to video, but more of a, a, a diary of how I went through and made it. it uh, I've made a camera, i made a, a portable dark room, and this lovely device here. This lovely device here actually has turned out probably to be the most difficult thing of the entire build. So what I'm going to do is just give you a quick overview of what this is and how it works and then we'll go into the um, videos and we'll see how I went through the whole process of making them. This is the tank that uh, I built and essentially it's designed to go into the portable dark room here. So I just want to kind of give you an overview of what uh, we fi I finally came up with. The idea is it will be holding up to 8x10 10 type plates or amber types. Um, so just up to, up to 10, 8x10. It has a removable lid that is tight. I don't want to knock it over here. There we go. The lid comes off. Um, this is, is watertight and I've got a dipping tray on the inside and essentially once it's inside the dark room, what I will be doing is get clips on there, but uh, it'll be in the dark room. I'll set it up as a tilt to it. Assuming the liquid's in there, the silver nitrate is in there. Take that. I'll have my plate that is, uh, it's got uh, uh, the collodion on it. Lift it up. Drop it in. And of course this will all be in the dark. Let it sit. Got a good, nice, light, tight seal there. However long we need to let it sit, take it out. Boom, and there we go. And our plate will be ready to go. The materials are on this. Um, essentially, I, I pretty much made it from scraps. Uh, around the uh, around the uh, uh, shed here, or the, my garage, and uh, with the exception of the plexiglass on the inside, I went through a couple of iterations, and I'll explain that in the uh, uh, video diary. But uh, um, I've, I've I spent about twenty five dollars on the internal parts of this. Uh, I probably have another five to ten bucks invested in hasps, uh, the handle for this, and the hinges on that. So um, it, it is deceptively difficult to build. Um, it looks like something to be uh, quite simple, but it turned out to be quite, quite a, a, a labor there. So um, that's pretty much it for the, the introduction, and on with the show. 